Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for Liftoff on another episode of Destination Anywhere. In this episode, we're headed back to upstate New York to explore some more awesome locations. First off, we're going to check out the site of the most famous concert in rock history. Speaking of rock, we're also going to take a closer look at this stone sculpture that took nearly 40 years to make. Finally, we're going to fly high above the Catskill Mountains for a breathtaking view of the area. Your travel itinerary starts right now. First off on this trip, we headed to Bethel, New York to explore the site of the famous Woodstock Music and Art Concert in 1969. Today the concert site is part of Bethel Woods Center for the Arts, which features a performing arts center and a museum dedicated to preserving the memory of the original Woodstock experience. Featuring performances by legendary rock acts such as The Who, Jimi Hendrix, The Grateful Dead, and numerous others, the concert is widely recognized as the seminal moment for the counterculture youth of the 1960s. Besides focusing on the concert itself, the 7,000 square foot museum gives visitors an understanding of the issues facing young Americans leading up to the festival, including the Vietnam War and the Civil Rights Movement. Above all else though, the museum is a great chance to step into a time machine and soak up the color and feeling of the free-spirited 60s. Located a short distance from the museum is the hallowed ground where it all took place over three fateful days. Of all the places you can go in America, you won't find a field richer with cultural significance than this one in Bethel, New York. After finishing up at Bethel, we headed through the Catskill Mountains to the actual town of Woodstock. While it's a common misconception that the concert took place here, it was the original idea of concert organizers to build a studio in the town of Woodstock that led to the eventual naming of the concert. A popular tourist attraction, this small town isn't afraid to embrace the perceived connection. Just a few miles outside of Woodstock sits a wondrous display of rock architecture that took almost 40 years to create. Opus 40, the brainchild of artist and teacher Harvey Fite sprawls six and a half acres encompassed in a blue stone quarry. Featuring ramps, platforms, and passageways, Fite was influenced by Mayan architecture to begin assembling this masterpiece in 1939. By 1964, he was determined to build an iconic central figure when he raised this nine ton blue stone monolith in the center of his work. Fight arrived at the name Opus 40 for this work because he estimated it would take 40 years to fully complete. Sadly, Fight died on the grounds 37 years after he started, falling just three years short of his goal. While Fight's no longer around to oversee his creation, Opus 40 remains closely guarded by Overlook Mountain off in the distance. The next day, it was time to conquer this mountain and see what it was hiding. Located in the central Catskill Mountains, it rests in the heart of the 590-acre Overlook Mountain Wild Forest area. After about a two-mile uphill hike, we came to the ruins of this old abandoned hotel. The first building on the site came about almost 200 years ago in 1833 to cater to the throngs of tourists that flocked to the Catskills in the 1800s. 
Eventually, the hotel lost out to its competition in the Catskill region and was reopened as the Overlook Mountain House in 1871. After several fires and unsuccessful attempts to thrive at the location, the land was eventually purchased by the state. The hotel now lays in its current state of disrepair since the 1960s. The haunting structure sits as a reminder of an age when the Catskills were one of America's premier destinations. Back on the trail, we headed up another half mile to get to the main natural lookout point on the mountain. Seeing the etchings in the rock, it's hard not to think about the many eyes that have gazed out over this beautiful view. Off in the distance, the Hudson River glistened in the sun. Also glistening in the sun was the back of this timber rattlesnake we were careful not to disturb. After a few minutes, we headed back the way we came to check out the central attraction on this tour. Standing tall at the top of the mountain is the Overlook Fire Tower. This 60 foot tall fire tower was originally built in 1927 in another location and moved here around 1950. Originally used to spot wildfires throughout the Catskill Mountains, it's easy to see why authorities picked this location to get a bird's eye view of the area. Eventually it was closed in 1988, but reopened to the public in 1999. Even in just a short trip through the area, it's easy to see why the region has long been an inspiration to artists and writers alike. Located just a couple hours outside New York City, Northeasterners looking for an escape know they always have the Catskills. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle on YouTube.